Well, Kenny, that's your playoff place just about done and dusted, but you'll be thinking higher than that now. Yeah, it looks wide open, doesn't it, and exciting. But uh, most importantly today, I was really pleased with the performance. Uh, some pressure uh, f uh, from us. Uh, Rochdale have been on a good run and uh, played with a lot of confidence in patches, and you can see that. And, um, you know, for us anyway, to come through the game like we did and uh, be as, uh, as conclusive a win, is, you know, delighted as a manager, pr really proud of the players, did excellent. Very professional about what you did today. Yeah, and scoring four goals is, you know, it's not an easy thing to do against anybody, you know, and, and um, you know, we could have had more. We were, we were, you know, very dangerous. I felt right the way through the game in terms of goal scoring, and, and that's a big thing. And it's, you know, it's very easy to say that, uh, you know, they've conceded a lot of goals, but they've been on a good run and they've been uh, uh, tough opponents under under Brian in the in the last few games and, and really do. You know, come here with confidence, and you could see that at the stages. But uh, some pressure on our players uh, responded very, very well, uh, engaged the crowd, and um, thoroughly deserved the win. So I've been very, very pleased today with uh, what I've seen. And yet again, four different players on the score sheet. Yeah, we do, and have needed to to, to spread it around and be a threat, a uh, threat from the bench as well, and be strong enough to be able to change things, and um, whether that be tactically or just you know fresh energy of. Somebody like Gareth Evans or Omar Bogle or or Brim, Mor Brim Morris, you know, they're good quality players, I think, and you know, push the push the starting eleven, which you always need, and you, you should expect at a good club. In a game like this, it's probably a bit of nitpicking, but were you disappointed with the goal you conceded? Maybe, but you know, when you're looking at uh, um, uh, Wilbr Wilbraham, Henderson, Doan, they're, they're you know good good players and. They, they carry an attacking threat and they leave the players at the top end of the pitch. Now, they can't have it always and you've got to make sure that when you do win it, you've got to punish them. And, and that was the case and we did. And I, I did always feel that uh, you know, for, for Rochdale going forward, they would be a threat and they were. You know, they've got some experienced players at the top end of the pitch and they've been doing well recently and, and uh, really helping the club. So, you know, I always knew that they would be a threat today and you could see in their approach it was, uh, you know, very open. They went forward. And uh, they look to score and look to hurt us. You know they've stated that and uh, and they've tried that. And yes, you need to defend well. But then, you know, if they're attacking in their numbers, when when it turns over, you have to be clinical. And there'll be spaces and gaps. And I'm pleased to say that then with the four goals, you know, we we responded very well. Gareth Evans, he's your go-to man, and he changed the game again today. Yeah, he's, he's um, having a r really good spell. It's just interesting now. Just on that left-hand side, he's adapted his game slightly. Uh, to get into it, and um, you know, a, a nod on the on the far post as well gets him another goal, which I'm pleased of. And it's 13 for the season, mainly from the number 10 position. But you know, since Brett has been back into it, it's it's just sort of you know pushed him into the into the wide area that he's competing for. But uh, for myself, I'm looking to get all of my players fit and available if I can. You know, next week we need cannons. We we need Donahue. Uh, we need Solomon Otterball, you know, fit if we can, and we, they won't be far away. And then hopefully we can we can stay fit uh, right the way through and uh, be as strong as we possibly can for every particular game. And it's setting up for a very fascinating finale. It is. It's still uh, open, you know, ourselves. You know, Charlton have obviously had a great win against Luton uh, uh, today, and um, you know, for Barnsley and Sunderland. You know they're obviously in the mix as well, so it's a, it's a big, big finale as you say, and we have to just look after ourselves, keep pushing, and uh, keep our consistency, keep performances like today because they were very good.